created in, 19, in 1895 by a man named William Morgan in the state of Massachusetts. This sport was created for those who belonged to the Holyoke um, YMCA. This sport was created for those who were unathletic and also of the older, older state of membership. These individuals would end up going outside to a grass field with a volleyball net, <laughs> what is now called a volleyball net. Um, the net was the, one of the only rules that was in for this sport. The other rule that followed this would have to include the fact that the ball cannot touch the floor. Um, one day while someone by the name of Michael Kirk was watching the sport, he noticed that the game was full of volleys. He decided to walk up to Morgan and suggest a brand new name. Morgan took this name and ended up creating the game of volleyball. Ever since then, it started advancing and moved to Canada in the 1900s and in 1947, it ended up making its way to Europe and parts of Brazil. Throughout that time, the sports completely changed and it's gone from outdoor to indoor and has evolved not only in rules but also in skill. In 1916, most of the skills were added, such as setting, spiking, and passing. Before these rules were even in place, there were no limits to the sport of volleyball. Volleyball was just keeping the ball in the air and making sure it didn't hit the ground. Six people to a side, and that was it. In 1917, the sport of volleyball created out-of-bounds lines. These lines gave a more strict court and, um, and also provided um, more boundaries for these players. This gave people more of a reason to add um, to add, I'm missing a word. Um, to add more skills and also end up making themselves um, better athletes. They involved the net and then the ground boundaries. They made it made sure it was only six players and played games to 21. This rule of 21 games or 21 points in one game ended up changing to 15 in 1916. In 1925, rotations were added. There are six positions on the court. In each rotation, you move clockwise, going from one to six and working your way down. Uh, each position has an, its own name and its own variation of the sport, taking each of the skills and making it their own. These rotations have completely changed and kept changing up until 1964 when volleyball was added into the Olympics. When it was added into the Olympics, volleyball um, ended up changing points to, from 15 to 25. 25. 25 points in each set, having three sets in one match. In 1964, um, in December, the Olympics had changed the rules to five sets. It's best of five, 25 for the first four, and 15 in the last. Uh, then again, in 1990, uh, the sets were changed. There are over 19 variations of sets, um, varying for each player in each position. 19 sets the setter knows and 19 sets that each individual player can play. Um, the libero was added in 1998 and has continued to grow and add rules as it goes. Um, oh, it didn't even change. Uh, these are the variations of the sets, um, showing both the front row and the back row. Any player on the given court can play these positions and play these hits no matter where they are. It's just a matter of footwork and moving around on the court. Um, team, has become like a, team has become a huge thing in the sport of volleyball and has made it certain that everyone works as one unit. A team has consisted of more than six players due to rotations and substitutions. The minimum number for, for a team would be about seven players. The maximum number has been limited to 23. With each of these players comes at least one coach, and these coach build on the experiences and the skills of the sport. And that's it. Okay.